Governor Bill Lee is working to tighten abortion laws in the state of Tennessee. His plan calls for banning abortions after doctors hear a fetal heartbeat. He wants to require women considering an abortion to undergo an ultrasound. The governor also wants to ban abortion outright if a doctor learns the decision is motivated by the race, sex, or health of the fetus. The governor wants to lead the nation in protecting the unborn, but his effort is not without critics. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith joins us with reaction in East Tennessee. Shannon. John, this proposal comes as pro-life groups across the country take to the streets for the annual March for Life, including here in Knoxville this weekend. Critics of the legislation worry about the safety of women, but both sides do have a few things in common. Governor Lee's new abortion legislation comes at a time when fewer women are having abortions in Tennessee. State data shows 636 women in the Knoxville area terminated pregnancies in 2017. That's down from 991 in 2008, about a 35% decrease. Planned Parenthood protested similar legislation proposed last year and says if the governor's proposal becomes law, it will not stop abortions from happening. Restrictions on abortion just make abortion harder to get and harder to get safely. Um, it doesn't actually impact the abortion rate. Tori Mills with Planned Parenthood of Tennessee says the decision to have an abortion should not be a concern of the government. Allowing people to make these personal decision, decisions with their family, their faith, and their doctor, and without the intervention of politicians. Local pro-life groups are happy to see the governor working to limit abortions. We are so grateful that Governor Lee is a pro-life governor and that we live in a pro-life state. Monica Irvin with Tennessee Right to Life says she hopes the legislation is upheld. Passing a pro-life piece of legislation for us right now in Tennessee is not very difficult. It's holding up constitutionally. That's the that is the challenge. Both women say they just want what's best for people facing the choice of abortion. That regardless of how you feel about this issue, we should be providing support and compassion. We want to love on and support women who have found themselves in this circumstance. Governor Lee says this legislation is still being drafted, so it's not an official bill proposal. When it's submitted, it'll have to go through several committees and drafts before it can be voted in the state house and the Senate. John. Shannon Smith with that perspective. Thank you.